Doug and PA back with another video. So guys, Target is closing nine of its stores at the end of October, three of them in Portland. So those nine stores are going to be, I, I read the list, it was New York City, California, Oregon, and Washington State. Now, what do those states have, have in common? They're all blue, and they're all being closed in cities that screamed, defund the police. Yeah, well, this is what you get. They're organized retail crime rings robbing these stores of millions of dollars, and businesses can't operate this way. And I know you're going to ask, because I have a, a list of videos having to do with crime in Portland, crime in Seattle. Well, Doug and PA grew up in western Washington. I spent a lot of time in Seattle, Olympia, Portland, Eugene, Salem. I spent a lot of my young years there, and to see how far places like these places have fallen really upsets me. So anyway, we're going to get into this news clip. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. I sure you support me, what I'm doing over here. And let's see what's going on with Target. Announced today it will be closing nine of its stores across four states, and that includes three Portland locations. The retail giant cites a rise in theft and organized retail crime as the reason why. Investigative reporter Kyle Boshi has been covering this issue extensively for the past year. So, Kyle, these closures will happen pretty soon here, too. They will, as you mentioned in total target will be closing nine stores in four states. They'll be shut down on October 21st in Portland. Three target stores will be closing. Those include downtown Galleria, Southeast Powell and the Hollywood location in Northeast Portland in a statement. October 21st, it is September 27th, 2023 of when I'm filming the video. So that's 30 days. And guys, hundreds of people work, work at these targets, hundreds out of jobs. Thousands of people shop at these places. No place to shop. And I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to see with these retail stores, and then it's going to go to essential services, grocery stores, you know, cell phone stores, you know, well, all these different places that, that provide essential services are going to be gone after that. And you're going to hear terms like, oh, there's going to be a food desert. Or what about access to the, the community? Yeah, well, the people in the community sh shouldn't have stole from these stores in the first place. You have organized retail theft rings. What, what are we doing here? Businesses can't operate with a loss like this. And Target explained, quote, we cannot continue operating these stores because of theft and organized retail crime are threatening the safety of our team and guests and contributing to unsustainable business performance. As we've been reporting, police and prosecutors and retailers complain shoplifting or organized retail crime is a citywide epidemic largely fueled by drug addiction. We've witnessed it. Criminals literally stealing merchandise off store shelves. Look at that. People just grab stuff and just walk right out. And a lot of these retail places, a small number of them have security guards licensed to, to, to put hands on people, but most of them don't. So these people know how they can go in there, grab stuff, and nothing's going to happen to them. This is what you get, Portland. This is what you get. Shelves and walking out the front door with little or no fear of being arrested or prosecuted. Many retailers, including Target, have tried reducing shoplifting by adding armed security. They've also changed store layouts and locked down high theft items. What's interesting is crime data shows the three Target stores that are closing don't necessarily have the highest crime rate. Their small format, format Target stores typically placed in dense urban areas. I'm told unlike larger Target stores, they can't absorb the losses. Profit margins are just too thin. So as much as anything, this is a strategic decision by Target. Yeah, a strategic decision. And what are these people going to do? Because a lot of people shop at Target, guys. A lot of people. Three stores in one city. Nine stores total. This is unsustainable. And I'm going to say this. I said this in previous videos. I'm going to say it again. Washington, Oregon, California, they throw hundreds of millions of dollars at the drug problem and the homelessness problem every single year. You don't have to steal to get food, basic clothing, ba uh, uh, clothing, housing, toiletries, a job.
You can get all those in these in these blue states on the coast. People are stealing for a lifestyle, and they're stealing for the money. That's what the majority of these people are doing. Or they're stealing for, for drugs. Because in all these states, they're having a problem getting people to the offices to utilize these services. So don't give me that, oh, these poor people, they're disadvantaged. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. They're stealing for drugs or they're stealing for a, a, a lifestyle to make money. If you live in, in Portland, in the, the Northwest, drop a comment on this video. Because this really makes me sad. It pisses me off. I'm hoping that something t turns around in the next year, year or two. Because it's going to suck if you start seeing essential services leave the, these major metropolitan areas. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.